Namaste, namaste, family of light. I want to acknowledge uh, those who are here. There's a handful of us. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 of us are here uh, at the physical location of the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light. But we are also broadcasting this worldwide through Zoom and through Facebook Live. I want to welcome everybody that is here in this moment that happened to be uh, listening uh, live stream uh, or if this comes across your feed later on because uh, as we know there's really no linear time that is our construct in this creation uh, so whenever and however uh, this information comes to you know that it is divinely appointed time and it is in that moment. Um, <clears throat> the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light, uh, which is a spiritual center, embraces all paths uh, that are anchored in unconditional love, which the avatars of light, from Jesus to Christ, to all avatars of light, have always um, pointed to the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. And uh, one of the things that we're going to do today is that we are going to uh, use great words of power. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a recent experience um, that uh, 25 of us uh, felt the call to physically come, uh, go to Bach Tower and Shrine of St. Anne in Lake Wales, Florida. And the reason for that is, dear light workers, is that all of us are being called uh, to come into our, our positions. Many of us have been in our positions, there's always shifting and changing, but in that moment, whatever it is that you sense and feel you are to do, as the ascended masters always say, thank you for showing up. Because the reality is we don't have to, but it would be a good thing if we do show up, because guess what? If you are hearing this, you're resonating to this, uh, you show up, you are part of the spiritual hierarchy. We are the boots on the ground. And I know many of us that are listening to this have always said, I think there's something more going on in this world, or something is not quite right with this world, or I feel I'm supposed to do something in this world. Uh, you are the tribe of light, okay, that has signed up. Uh, for this particular mission where uh, perhaps you would be more aware or awake uh, than the general population, but we are all, all of us, all humanity and all life on earth are to go through a spectacular experience now where some people call the ascension, some people call it the rapture, uh, there's many different names for it and all cultures from around the world in all disciplines have all spoken of this time. I will say this, um, I'm around long enough and have done history to hear many people have said, hey, this is the time, this is the end of the world or repent now and you would see in the 1930s and the 1920s, that sort of thing. And most certainly things are in cycle and people may feel that way. But however, I really do feel that this is the time for real, that we are in the days of Noah and especially now, the choices we make are so important. We have to be clear in what we align ourselves with. And ideally, we align ourselves in the days of Noah. Uh, Noah was appointed because Noah, like Melchizedek, uh, came from the point of righteousness. So what's righteousness? Nothing more than coming from a place of love. That's basically what righteousness is, doing the right thing doing the right thing and knowing that the reason that you're doing it is in a higher vibration of higher service and love. Why are we doing this? Well, this is the celestial turn of the cross. And there is a reason why cultures from time immemorial have honored this time. You figure like this, if it impacts the weather, the seasons, if the moon impacts the tide, okay, we are part of a much larger dynamic that we should pay attention to and recognize because it is integrated and impacts our life. And just like days of old, that they realize that we are part of a cosmic plan, something much bigger than our little experience that we have here on earth, 
when you do that, there is an energetic exchange because what humanity has forgotten is that we are powerful, powerful beings of light. Our thoughts, our words count and it ripples throughout the cosmos. In fact, I've been told that if humanity really knew how powerful they were, no one would have a self-esteem problem ever. Okay, that's who we are. But we have the veil of forgetfulness, you know, the different veils that have us discombobulated and not remembering this. So we come and align ourselves to these blessed energies to ignite our memory, to trigger ourselves as well as to lend our light. If someone here is listening and they say, you know what, I'm in alignment. I want to bring peace to the earth. I want to bring balance to the earth. I realize the earth is sacred and we have to respect her and love her and, and support her. Okay, these are words that resonate with you. Well, then you are here to bring in the energy as well as receive the energy, which accelerates you along your spiritual path. So the equinox as the solstices is that quarter turn that's involved with the seasons on our planet. And all cultures throughout the world have always recognized that and have participated in that. And so we continue to do the same as, um, as light workers and star seeds and wanderers. We're going to use um, the powerful names of God that we did use in Bach Tower and Shrine of St. Anne and the purpose why we went there has to do with Atlantis. Uh, Atlantis is still, that timeline is still affecting us in this timeline. Uh, in fact, many of us have some memories of some level or some connection to Atlantis. Um, and so what we want to do in this ascension process is to bring things balanced and have things move in a more less catastrophic way might be a good way to do it. But no matter what, the family of light, we're all going to be okay. Okay, there's no, um, there's no need for any fear. But at Bach Tower and Shrine uh, and the Shrine of Saint Anne, we used powerful names of God, and in particular that of the Divine Mother, that we were arcing in the Divine Mother, a uh, representative of uh, Mother Mary. However, that's Isis, that's Pallas Athena, that is the goddess archetype, Divine Mother. And these words of power are so strong and intention so strong, it can affect weather. And uh, some people say, is that really true? Yes, it is. And I was told this very, very long time ago. And so everything worked out just perfectly, which you know is happening from the higher realms. So we're going to start and use these names of power integrated into this program, take that energy that was at Bach Tower, amplify it here now. We are in a new octave and a new platform working on and moving forward. And again, you bring in your light here is of great significance and great power. Shem Shel Gabor, the strength of the holy name. Uh, we will be using uh, a lot of Hebrew. There are five sacred languages on this planet. Uh, that is Hebrew, that is Chinese, uh, Tibetan, Sanskrit, and Egyptian. And so uh, for the Western mind, uh, mostly uh, Hebrew tends to be a little bit easier, but we could use any of those five. So what we're going to do here now, I'm going to ask for just a special blessing uh, for Mark Leibowitz. Then we'll do the calling in of the directions, which is what we usually do uh, for the equinoxes, the solstices. But it is the high holy days now is the Hebrew uh, New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. I think it's, what is it, 55,000, do you remember the, I don't remember what it is, but. 5725, I think. Something like that, 5725. It's way more than our, our uh, regular um, uh, calendar that we use in the Western. So this High Holy Week, I'm going to ask Mark Leibowitz if you would do a blessing in Hebrew for us for this High Holy Week. How many of you knew that I was 
the 10 days of the high holidays of the Jewish tradition. Let me see, how many knew? Nobody, yes. <laughs> three people. <laughs> well, that's great. And on Facebook and our other programs, how many knew? So good Yom Tif. it means happy, happy new year. Rosh Hashanah begins the 10 days and ends with Yom Kippur for the Jewish and other people also participate in Slichot, in really asking through meditation and prayer for forgiveness for whatever we may have done or even our ancestors, asking to expand our gifts and, and to be a blessing for the whole world. And so as we receive the blessing, and I'm going to sing it in Hebrew, just really absorb it because the rabbis are standing behind me, the priests are right here, and the holy mothers are also in this place all the time, actually. It's just a, such a blessing to be able to share this. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kiddushanu Bamibota Bitsivanu Ner Chad Ligner Ner Chad Ligner Shal Yom Tov Blessed art thou, Lord our God, rule of the universe. Lord God that gives us life, celebration, music, dance, and fellowship with all people. Bless this year and write us into the book of life for the next year. Amen. Thank you, Mark. And now I'm going to ask Reverend Annie Ra if she would call in the directions. Energies, spirits of the East, place of the rising sun, birth and rebirth, the winds that bring new beginnings and clarity, the breath of life the place of enlightenment and illumination. We invoke the energies of air in the three secret name of God. We call upon Archangel Raphael, guardian of the East, guide us and heal us. We call upon the wings one, the great eagle and the hawk. Teach us to fly wings to wings with great spirit. We call forth the slips, spirit keepers of the air, energies of the east, join us now, assist us in this day. Be here now, and so it is. Energies, spirits, of the south, place of the noon day sun, the spirit realm, the place of creation and inspiration, the spark of life, the fire within. We invoke the energies of fire in the tree secret name of God. O ye a te ye a te do se Elohim. We call upon Archangel Michael, guardian of the South. Share with us your courage and protection. We call forth Saint Germain and the violet flame to assist us in change. We call the lion, the puma and Sekma who fiercely protect those whom she loves. We call forth the Salamandus, spirits keepers of fire, energies of the South, join us assist us this day be here now and so it is energy spirit of the west place of the setting sun the emotional realm the place of reflection and introspection hidden mysteries and transformation we invoke the energies of water in the three secret name of God. 
We call upon Archangel Gabriel, guardian of the West. We call forth Magdalene that we might know alchemy, kindness, and mercy. We call upon the dolphins and whales and the playfulness of the altars and seals. We call forth the undines, spirit keepers of water, energies of the West. Join us, assist us this day. Be here now, and so it is. Energy, spirit of the North, the place of wisdom, knowledge, and discernment, the place of the grandmothers, grandfathers, the ancestors, and the ancient ones, the place of abundance, prosperities, and physical manifestation. We invoke the energy of the North in the three secret name of God. Emodia Hetega Adonai. We call forth Archangel Uria, guardian of the North. We call forth Isis and her expert of the war, the sage, the martyr, the teacher, and the healer. We invite the energies of the buffalo and bull. We call forth the gnomes, spirits, keepers of the earth, energies of the gnome. Join us, assist us this day. Be here now, and so it is. Energies, spirits of the earth, elements of ether, father star, star nations, Elohim, celestial hosts, archangels and the angelic realms, divine consciousness, sky being, multi-dimensional light beings, spirit guides, and our ancestors for their wisdom and watchful guidance over our life path. We invite Nuit, whose body holds the stars, great spirit, you who are known by a thousand names, spirit keepers, energies of the above join us assist us this day be here now and so it is energy spirits of the below sacred mother earth beloved gaia the sacred core the depths of the underworld we call forth energies of the elements the stones and crystal the plants and trees and all that walks cross fly swim and all that be off and on the earth spirit keepers energies of the below join us assist us this day be here now and so it is energy spirits of sacred center the place of balance sacred union the within and without oneness divine feminine and divine masculine god goddess isis osiris magdalene and christ the yin and yang the place of timelessness and transformation the place of the void from which all things are born and to whom all things return. Spirit keepers, energy of the sacred center, join us, assist us this day, be here now. And so it is. The directions are called, the circle is cast and we are now in sacred space. Thank you, Reverend Ani. And now I want to say the sacred name of El El Elyon. And for those that are new to this, El El Elyon is the Most High God, uh, the ineffable, uh, the source of all that is. 
And so we're very clear on where we align ourselves with and where our allegiance is. It is from source, divine source, the ineffable, known as the Most High God, El El Elyon. And we're also going to say Shekinah. Shekinah is the divine presence or the movement of God. It is feminine in nature. It is known as the Holy Spirit, as well as the Ruach HaKadosh. We will say Shekinah, the divine presence. We will say El El Elyon together. I will start, and for those that are listening, say this with you. You can say it in a whisper, say it out loud, or even think it. And it holds great power. We're anchoring great power in this space time of the connection of hearts and minds together to create a portal of light on this planet right here, right now. El Elyon Shekinah El 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 El Elyon Shekinah, El El Elyon, 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 Shekinah. El El Elyon Shekinah 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 We'll take a deep breath in and know that in this moment the angel so light the emanation from the highest of the absolute worlds emanate into this space in a sacred octave that we can integrate and process we acknowledge this as we continue to serve in the highest of el el elion the divine pine the christ the divine maitreya the holy spirit shekinah and now in this sacred presence, we will ask those who are going to call in the masters. I know we have Sheila and we have Tana. And I think we have who else? Mark and Richard. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 
We now call them the angelic beings, ascended masters, and beings of light. Sananda. Mother Mary. Mary Magdalene. Saint Germain. Apra. Tutumi. Sanat Kamara. Gautama Buddha. Maitreya. Rakul. Confucius. Kuan Yin. Melchizedek. Elijah. Serapis Bay. Amen Bay. El Moria. Ramu and the Brotherhood of Mount Shasta. Enoch. John the, Bob, the, the Beloved. Leto. Saint Bernadette. Hilarion. Mir Baba and the Ascended Masters. Todd. Babaji. Metatron. Saint Michael the Archangel and all Archangels. Ashtar Command. The Galactic Federation of Light. All Saints. The Arcturians, Palladians, Syrians, Andromedans, and Altarians, and all of our family, star family of light, Elohim, and all beings of light, I personally acknowledge. Amen, 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 amen and amen. amen. I will ask everybody who's present now if they would please read the great invocation. For those who are listening to this, if you do know the great invocation, uh, it is the great work of Alice Bailey of Theosophy, um, the Ascendant Master Dewal Kuhl, also known as its Tibetan. Uh, they've been doing this uh, from the 1940s, so we could be here today to say the sacred work and to continue it on. So we will say the great invocation together. It is the original uh, words. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. And I will now ask if Richard will come forward with a prayer for world peace that has been channeled by Pallas Athena. Hello everyone, so good to see you all again. Um, I want to just take a minute just to say thank you to my guardian guide, Pallas Athena, who's been with me for many, many, many live streams. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I say it enough, but uh, I really am grateful that she has been present in my life and um, yeah, she's been through a lot and, you know, she's just kind of, just kind of always a, a ever present, you know, uh, you know, you know light being, student master, friend uh, in my life. And I just wanted to take a moment just to officially say thank you so much, Paulus, for We open our hearts to Mother, Father, God, because we know that the heart is the temple of divine love. It is the point of contact from which we communicate with God. And it is with great love and humility that your children call out to you. We ask you to shine your light into the hearts of everyone here, and even more so, to the hearts of those who are not. So that we may honor you as one collective heart, blaze as one sacred fire, and pray as one voice, united in compassion for our brothers and sisters across the globe. Father, Mother, God, we ask for your blessing tonight 
we ask you to bless the whole of humanity so that we may be cleansed and purified in your name, that our mistakes and misdeeds be forgiven, that the crimes and cruelties we have committed against our fellow man, the animals and the very earth itself be washed away and our souls be reborn in the ever-loving presence, peace, and light of God. May harmony and oneness permeate the core of all people, and may the multi-hued rays of the light of Christ consciousness descend like a waterfall, rushing forward into the hearts and minds of all mankind. May this deluge of Christ's love and Christ's light engulf our beautiful Mother Earth in its supreme radiance, and may it spread in every possible direction, filling every crack and crevice of our thirsty, thirsty world. May its current circulate through every life stream until its influence pervades all of existence. May this wave of Christ's love never rest. May it continue to surge until all beings, all beings are free from violence, oppression, fear, tyranny, and every manner of unkindness and misqualified energy. Let not one creature walk the land, swim the sea, or fly through the air without knowing the love and grace and mercy forgiveness and passion and unity of the heart of God. May we all remember that nature is the domain of the Holy Spirit and mankind as a part of nature is responsible for the caretaking of the world as well as our fellow man. We ask that we recognize the supreme divinity in all things to heal and bless the land and to receive its abundance. And so with the indwelling cosmic Christ consciousness, let us look over the world and see humanity and all living creatures in brotherliness, hopeful, and harmonious in a holy alliance of mankind and nature whose redemptive power shatters despair and engenders an age of peaceful coexistence. Father, Mother, God, please allow this new hope to dawn upon us. Let it take its proper place in our hearts and become the wellspring of a progressive movement whose supercharged action in Christ overturns all obstacles, heals every wound, unbinds all of our sorrows, and removes the heavy, heavy burden in the hearts of so many. May we all feel the, new, the joy awakened by the great symphony of God's word. May it give rise to the constant aspiration and qualities of virtue that make humanity great. A golden light is shining and love is eternal. We want to give thanks for the energetic ripples of the rising sun of Christ consciousness that flows through us now and will flow through us for all of time. We are grateful for the dome of the sky, the stars that shine forth in their sparkling brilliance in the world upon which we live. We appreciate the heartfelt joy in the song of birds, the green of the trees, the cry of a newborn child, and in the kindness of others. We know that all things are bathed in the holy radiance of God. 
Mother, Father, God, we want to show our gratitude in this moment now for the day when all men and women will receive and acknowledge peace, love, strength, courage, and wisdom that will be bestowed upon us through our faith in the cosmic Christ. It is cosmic Christ who has risen and dwells within our hearts. We want to thank you this day for sharing in our collective prayer. We know that because of all of our efforts here, because we are combined and united, that the hosts of heaven are already victorious. We pray in the name of the Holy Trinity, all things divine, and in the name of the I am that I am. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Let us all hear together and we'll project our voices as we are recording. The um, <coughs> Gabriel's Divine Love and Golden Light Invocation. Everybody should see that. And for those who are watching, um, for this, uh, just participate. The words have power, you're receiving it, so. I invite the divine love and golden light active in the Christ consciousness to flow gracefully through me and anchor upon the earth. I now ask for an awakening connection within my DNA to divine love, compassion, and light from the highest source to the 12 strands of DNA within me, creating the full helix of light that activates my 12 chakra system. I ask for my soul's alignment to all the divine love and light that I can receive for the good of my evolution and the evolution of the earth at this time. I invite the assistance of the angels, archangels, masters, and all the beings of light who work for my awakening to be with me in this process. May all beings awaken to their divine potential and bring the presence of divine love into their hearts. May ever more grace flow through us all to bless this planet. May the earth be honored in a new way that allows our beautiful planet to thrive. May every heart feel the gifts of this loving presence within them, so peace may prevail on earth. Thank you, God, for this and all our blessings and so it is. And now I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Robin Richardson to come forward. Welcome everyone, thank you for being here. And that was the most magnificent prayer by Richard. So thank you all both online and in person here. And thank you, Sharon Elizabeth, for housing this beautiful event. Today is a very auspicious day. It is a celestial cosmic event. And as it is above, let it be so within, within us. As above, so below, and within. And so as the ancient civilizations from thousands of years ago, from Stonehenge to Malta since before that, we know that the equinox is one of the four times of the year that is a special day, a special cosmic event aligned in the heavens. And may we use this day, this one moment in time to our advantage. So as everything is 
in balance today from a cosmic phenomenon, equal day, equal night, 12 hours of light, 12 hours of darkness across the whole planet. It is a truly a celestial event that we can take advantage of and we now can go within ourselves. And so what I was hoping today is that we would allow this moment to be a moment that is precious to us, taking full advantage to bring balance into our lives physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And may all those work in tandem because we have to have all working properly in tandem to have that balance, to have that one moment in time when we are perfectly balanced and in perfect alignment, to receive the cosmic knowledge, to be able to enact it here on earth and to live it with every word, with every thought and with all of our dreams being fruitful here on earth. So I would like to have you take this moment in time to think about how you in your life are aligning things in balance because we have both male, both female, both yin, both yang, light and dark. And today is that one moment in time that everything is in perfect balance. And that is what we're trying to achieve in our lives and on this planet and throughout the entire world. And I would say throughout all, not of our just many lives, but throughout all of eternity and all of the dimensions, because this dimension impacts other dimensions. It's a ripple event. So let us use it wisely, right? Let us align with all these beautiful cosmic energies and use it as a moment in time to assess our lives. How can we bring balance beautifully and restore balance into our lives. So as we're thinking, assessing, and looking at our lives, I'd like for you to even think on a physical situation. What can we do, add to, bring balance to, or take away from a physical situation to bring us balance? And this is balance with from a dietary, right? Or out in the sun, right? Physically, what are we doing to take <sighs> perfect balance and take care of our bodies. So it is perfectly aligned, do you see that? So we wanna just for a moment assess what can we do? Our, is our physical being being taken care of and in balance? What can we do to bring into it? Whether it's more healthy food, healthy exercise, and even healthy thoughts, do you see that? But we need to be in balance because when our physical body is perfectly aligned, then we can then come up the scale and think about our emotions, our mental, our intellect, and then our spirituality and have them all aligned, perfect and in balance. In Kabbalah, we speak of walking the middle path, the pillars. And all great mystics know, and even Buddha spoke of the middle path. So the middle path is truly walking in the middle, utilizing all the forces within our realm, do you see, to bring into the equation and to make us right and in perfect balance. So from we are thinking physically, what can we do now to adjust and align ourselves so our body is absolutely getting what it needs from a balanced perspective. Now let's think mentally looking at our lives, what can we do mentally? We need balance, even too much math, do you see? Or too much, any kind of intellectual endeavor, we need to make it in balance. So let's, again, variety, bringing balance in. That's from your mental state, then think of mental emotional. So we can love, the impulse to love, the emotions, Fires, you see our thought process, but too much is like a tsunami wave. Too much intellect, do you see? We can be a beautiful, wonderful physicist, a rocket scientist, but you need to have balance. And if we want to create a beautiful world here on earth and in our lives, 
we need to use all of these in perfect balance. Bringing our emotions in perfect alignment, bringing our intelligence and our intellect in perfect alignment, conceptualizing that dream and then having a body that is balanced to be able to enact that. And that's when we have the heaven on earth. So right now, and even from a spiritual standpoint, we need balance with our spirituality. Our lives need to be in balance so that we can bring to fruition all of our highest aspirations and dreams. And when that is an alignment, like a house is perfectly made from the foundation up, it stands sturdy and strong. And from that base, we can achieve great things on earth and in our lives and go all the way to the highest levels of the highest realms to the Ain Sof Or and bring that down into the foundation in our body that can then, we can capture those light frequencies and be able to deliver them to everyone around us. So let's think just for a moment of all the different capabilities that we have to adjust and reassess and bring into balance our life today. So thinking intelligence, intellect, emotional and feeling. So when we have an imbalance, even from an earth standpoint right now, everyone's residing in fear. What's the opposite of fear? Safety, see? So how can we bring safety? Think of everything being polarized. Then we need to bring solidarity. We need to bring love and understanding it. So can we do that in our lives? And then when we're right, we can go out into the world and we can invoke that balance, looking at the situation and bringing those qualities into the equation that brings it into perfect balance. So when we think in our lives and on planet earth, we want to adjust the equation bringing, if we have too much of something, we need to bring in the opposite, you see? It's even like the Chinese philosophy, right? So, the opposite strength, compassion, justice. There's times when we need justice, right? There's times to show mercy. When can we do that in our lives and when can we do it here? Severity and judgment. And how about forgiveness? You see that? Can we bring that into our lives, into our relationships, and then go out into the world and sow that forgiveness in those situations when that would restore balance? Or sometimes, is there too much? Too much forgiveness that someone's getting trampled on? At that point in time, we need strength and severity. Do you see? Then we need judgment. But that's when we are called to have discernment, to look at this with clarity. Because there are times in our lives when people can reside in no light or in ignorance. Do you see? That's the cave of ignorance. That's the sin, the disconnect by bringing light, bringing knowledge, and then acting accordingly. So our souls, when we think of the planet Earth, and now we think of our countries, of global events, now when we look within, every soul is called upon to be balanced. We are a perfect soul, being restored to a perfect soul. So what can we do in our lives right now when we take this opportunity to assess ourselves, both male and female, the male God, the female God, we house within ourselves, our souls, and we can learn, and that is our journey here, is to bring that perfect balance to our souls so that it, as we uncover, reveal, and grow in that magnificence. So we again take this moment to assess, what do we need? to restore us and bring us that perfect balance? What can we add to our lives? What can we add to our relationships? What can we take away to restore that perfect balance? What virtues can we use to bring balance to those that we love, to our cities, to our countries, to the world? And that is, to me, this most auspicious, opportune moment 
to restore the balance that we have. The Ein Sof Or, we are perfect lights, perfect beings of light, and we can call forth that light to assist us, but we have to house that light. And we need to be perfectly balanced to bring that light into the world. So let us take the knowledge, have the discernment, and use it in a willful manner to bring our self-balance. I'd like to at least close with this beautiful prayer as we take advantage of this beautiful celestial event. And that, for me, is a prayer of paradise. Prayer for paradise on earth. Someone wonderful gave that to us, and I'd like to Ooh. deliver it back. <laughs> so as you give it, so shall it return unto you. Do you see that? And that's the giving and the taking, the giving and the receiving. Great God of light, we behold your plan unfolding, whereby all spiritual clouds are dispelled, impurity and error cleansed from the realms of spirit and matter. The age of light and joy is being born through your infinite compassion. Misguided forces waken unto truth and negative practices cease, while forces of light unhindered restore the world to peace. All of nature receives your loving influence and finds its rightful place. Peaceful clouds move across brilliant skies and the fragrance of countless flowers floats upon the air. Abundant harvests glorify the earth every corner filled with happy voices. Boundaries between countries vanish and ancient conflicts disappear as if dreams. All people are united, encircled by your light and guided by your wisdom. Through service to humanity, all are blessed with health, peace and prosperity. Great God of light, Strengthen us with courage and wisdom to follow your will and realize paradise on earth. That's by the Johoni Fellowship White Mark. Thank you so much. May everyone be blessed today. Thank you, Reverend Robin. And we say amen, 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 amen and amen. Okay. Take my sheet. <laughs> um, there's something, uh, a lot of what we do, you know, is in the moment for those who've been part of the uh, the center and uh, Cosmic Center Spiritual Light. What we do here, I want to take this opportunity because um, I was just guided to share some information that was triggered by what uh, Reverend Robin uh, said. And uh, so things can happen in the moment. <laughs> Those of you who have been a part of it know that we have an agenda to do something and it, it comes out completely because we are now, everybody here who is hearing this and experience it is in the moment. We are in the eternal now. And again, you brought the information how auspicious we're all the celestial cost turns are auspicious, but this is perfect balance. And so it triggered me to share information that came 10 years ago from the Divine Mother. And actually it came as a result of me having an experience in a, a sound bed where I went deep into Theta, uh, Reverend Robin has that, that kind of bed, it's a healing bed. And uh, I had a whole vision. Uh, of the Divine Mother, and I'm not going to go through the whole vision part of it, uh, but what I saw clearly was a diamond, and within this diamond was who I know as Mother Mary, but of course she is the feminine archetype. Uh, we have written this in the back of our program now. We're here in this incarnation eight years but she had a very specific message back in 2010 that's for this time. She said very clearly, 
I need somebody to hold the polarities in balance. She was appealing to light workers and star seeds that are tapped in. And because we're that powerful, and I'm going to bring that message back again, how powerful we are. Your thoughts have great power. Your action, the things that you cite is why when you become to realize how much power you have in your thoughts and your words, you start being real careful. You're no longer just blobbering unconsciously. You know that what comes out of your mouth or what thoughts you have will impact 100%. 100%. And so one of the things that she said is that we were going to come into a time of extreme polarities. You know, poor Mother Mary, she's been showing up on toast. She's been showing up in every kind of way you can think of to get our attention. Okay. And what is her message? You know, love and mercy and compassion, you know, things that all things would thrive from. And so in this timeline, if humanity keeps on going the way it's been going along and not waking up, then yeah, that's what prophecy is. Prophecy is things unfolding because there's nothing that has changed it. And yes, I would say there are some crusted prophecies. There are prophecies that have not happened because light workers stopped it or mitigated it. Okay. And there are prophecies out there. Listen, we, at the very minimum, yes, there may be some prophecies that are rolling along here now, but at the very minimum, we can mitigate it, that it doesn't have to be as challenging or as hard. We have that kind of power. So Divine Mother said to us, she asked, and anybody that's hearing these words, this is what's being asked of you, that she needs those to hold the polarities in balance, meaning that you come as the neutral observer. You're not in this level of chaos and drama. And I don't have to tell you, <laughs> we're living in it. All these emotional charges, okay? And a, another vision of how we are being manipulated through the emotions, that's at another time. And you can you know, go to our website and go to our YouTube channel and get all that kind of information. But one of the things that is so important is that don't fall into the trap. That's what she said, don't fall into the trap. She needs somebody who's gonna come as the neutral observer, not saying that you don't have your own discernment and your own opinions, not saying that, but you're not charged emotionally where you feel irritation or rage or lashing out. That's when you fell into the trap. So sometimes if it takes, as Robin said, a deep breath, and what are you trying to do? Just hold the balance. So we don't engage into, you know, smokers, non-smoker, military, non-military, you know, a Democrat, Republican, uh, the, the, the extremes. We bring that in the middle and we hold the middle path. And that is what the Divine Mother asked us to do. So if you're hearing these words, please contribute to that middle path. And in this moment, I feel to do a meditation. I'm just going to listen for what this is. On Monday at the Anchoring Light, we had a powerful meditation with an opening lotus and the flame. What's coming in now is exactly what you talked about. We're going to do a meditation for the right brain and the left brain. Anybody who's here right now, the divine energies are here for that to happen. If you're listening to this, I will ask you, everybody here in this divine moment, to take a deep breath in. And I am actually going to play music because it's going to go deep. Everybody here in this forever moment, in this eternal now, we all now take a deep, sacred, holy in-breath. 
and out breath. And as we do, we re-remember that we breathe the breath of Brahma, we breathe the breath of God. We re-remember this, and so each and every holy, sacred, in-breath and out-breath is sanctified and easily our vibrations begin to continue to accelerate as has been the experience with this ceremony and prayers coming from the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. And with the understanding that we are eternal beings of great power because we hold the divine image and the similitude of God, El El Elyon, the Most High God, the King of Kings, the God of Gods. In coming into complete balance of Ima and Abba, Ima, Divine Mother, Abba, Divine Father. We see Ima and the energy of Ima flowing into the left side of our brain as we say Ima, 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 Ima. And we see the energy of Abba coming into the right side of our brain as we say Abba, Abba, Abba. And we now feel these two divine energies moving in and through our physical brain. Not only the physical brain, but it moves in through our endocrine system and it moves into the mental system of our brain. And these energies are now oscillating and moving and integrating. It has a mission and it has a purpose as we breathe each and every holy, sacred, in-breath and out-breath with intention that we are consciously aware and accepting of this divine grace to come to us now in the assistance in our own balance, our own divine feminine and our own divine masculine, that these parts of ourselves come into divine sacred balance and integration symbolized by the physical right brain and the physical left brain. And so we see clearly from the higher parts of ourselves, the physical mechanisms of our own brain. And we see the energies of Abba and Ima moving oscillating, integrating with the purpose to bring balance. We hold this sacred moment for this to happen. And in this moment, and in this movement, we see clearly in our spiritual eye that area that is the softest part of the skull. It is the soft spot of when babies are born. It is in the middle of the head. And what emerges from this is a sacred flame. This is the God flame. yod he bod -Heh. This is the spark of the divinity 
and the sacred image that we hold. See clearly that this flame between the two hemispheres of the right brain and the left brain ignites. Focus on it and see this flame becoming strong and vibrant for it is being held in perfect balance. And so the higher illumination comes forth in the crown chakra and the higher chakras, being able to be aligned to receive the higher guidance of the higher parts of yourself. And beloveds, as you can do this, as you can visualize this flame between perfect hemisphere of right and left brain, you are anchored into the higher celestial wisdom, knowledge, guidance, and protection. And so we breathe this holy sacred breath. We anchor this grace that flows in right now. You will feel a tingling and movement in the middle of your head. Some may feel a slight headache. It's okay. Simply be the observer and allow this divine flame to anchor and take root. Bring your attention and intention to the energies that are now in the middle of your head. Acknowledge it. It is moving and it is anchoring and still moving very powerfully. So we'll just wait these few moments here allow this process to unfold and right here right now hold the intention that this experience can continue in your dream state but it has anchored here now between the two hemispheres of the brain in the middle a flame that is in distinguishable hold it hold it anchor it feel it as it moves into your head some may experience a headache it's okay whatever the experience is for you just acknowledge it for me, I have a headache. No, beloved, it's that your thoughts, your intentions, your actions hold great power. That you are called to bring balance and peace and healing to this world and all of the life. You are called to have the higher illumination, guidance, and wisdom to know what to do. So now we will hold the intention that this will continue in our dream state. And even as the energy continues, we're able to be back and present in this reality experience on the count of three. One, two, take a deep breath in and 
three. You're back. You're awake and we are grounded in the continuation of the ceremony. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, that just came. Did everybody here feel the energy in the yes. top of your head? Unbelievable. Okay, so and it's still gonna continue into the night. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to say that we remember, and we're going to have our beautiful Ashley come forward after that, that she can get herself uh, anchored. And when you say the prayer, it's going to be so powerful because we just had this experience. So let us all together say that we remember, and you will find that. And for those that are listening to the ceremony, and you can see these prayers actually on our website. So let us all say that we remember together. We remember we are spiritual beings of light, one with the source of all creation. We remember all is one. We remember that we are creators and part of a divine creative plan. We remember we are here in physical expression as guardians and stewards to earth. And we work in collaboration with other spiritual beings of light from various streams of consciousness. We work together, bounded by love, to liberate Earth Mother, to take her place as a world of peace. We walk the path of love and light. Ashley. Hey everybody, how's it going? Okay, yes, hello, sorry. I'm not usually up here, so thank you for having me. Project your voice. Yes, and um, yeah, I just am so grateful to be here. I'm like also coming out of that lovely meditation. Um, essentially, I wanted to give a global peace prayer tonight to kind of unite all of this together as we were talking about Earth Mother and the nature and being one with the earth, I feel like there's a lot of calling for a lot of people right now that they feel compelled to, you know, get out in nature and we've been cooped up and there's a lot of, you know, spiritual um, guidance that can come from that in addition to, you know, meditatively to be able to touch trees and be with earth and um, to take time to kind of ground yourself, take your shoes off, go outside and walk around on the earth. Um, so I just wanted to kind of share this. Um, I don't know if anybody is aware. I think there's a few people here that have been to Earth Dance uh, Global. It happens all around the world. This year it was virtual. Um, and essentially it's a global festival that happens all at the same time to put a prayer out to the earth where everyone comes together, gathers in their hands, dances around uh, in a circle and all over the world from Florida to Amsterdam to Sweden and off tonight about the same thing that we're all here on the planet earth and no matter where you are that's where you are so um i just wanted to say the prayer that they do and i was going to ask everyone to stand so that we can kind of shake our legs out as everybody knows me here i love to give wiggle hugs and i love to dance so this is very appropriate <laughs> and also another thing that i like to do if you guys are feeling stressed at home or feeling cooped up or like baba was talking about earlier if you can't seem to find the middle path I say shake it out, listen to a song, and then readdress uh, whatever situation is bothering you. So let's begin. <laughs> um, so we are all one global family, all colors, all races, one world united. We dance for peace and the healing of our planet Earth, peace for all nations, peace for our communities, and peace within ourselves. As we all join on the dance floor of Mother Earth, across the world, let us connect heart to heart. Through our diversity, we recognize unity. Through our compassion, we recognize peace. Our love is the power to transform our world. Let us send it out now. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so get out there, get grounded, and namaste. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you. Okay, well, this um, 
pretty much concludes our ceremony. Before we go, I just want to do a blessing uh, to everybody who has heard these words, to everybody who's going to hear these words. Okay, know this to be true. This blessing comes to you. Blessed are they who seek the light, for light shall be given in greater measure. Blessed are they who give of the energy of light, for they shall know the increase. Blessed are the children of light upon the earth, for theirs is the reward of the redemption. For the children of light are given the work of lifting the planet out of its state of darkness. Through the increase in vibratory rate as it emanates from the being into the ethers. As ye are lifted, you will draw unto the self, the one who seeks. The child of light is thereby the servant of the Most High. And it is so. Amen, 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 and amen. I would just like to say thank you uh, for, your, for your participation uh, in the work that we do. Uh, those know how vital this is. We are a pinpoint or a center of uh, the Leo Shekinah, the uh, pillar of light. Yeah, little, little, little cosmic center here. Uh, we're small, but we're mighty. Um, I would say to please, uh, we appreciate all support and financial support. Uh, everything is done based on donations and volunteers. That's how we run this entire organization. There's no paid anybody, uh, with the exception of a very small part-time um, office management position outside of that. There, there's no salaries, no income, none of that. Uh, so we do um, depend on the light workers and those that are awakening and awake and support what we need to do on the planet to please give with the higher heart of your love. You could go to CosmicCenterSpiritualLight.com or www.ccosl.com. You'll see a donate page there. So that energetic exchange uh, will bring the balance that Reverend, uh, Reverend Robin spoke about. And uh, also too, uh, we have many, many people that are asking, they wanna know more. Uh, we're in the process of developing our online presence in a big way. But for the moment, you could go on our website, there's some information there, but we encourage you to go to what we call our Cosmic Center um, YouTube University. Uh, I wanna thank uh, Yi and Susan who have been very instrumental in getting that going um, as quickly as possible. Uh, and so that is on the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light YouTube channel. Lots of information over there. If you saw a little bit of you like this and you wanna know more, that would be the place to go to. We're in process of having different platforms that will provide more to everybody, but for the moment, that's what we have. We are located in Sarasota, Florida, uh, in the United States. So we send our love across the world to everybody, and we say namaste. namaste. namaste.